let us talk about monochlorination it is a very very important question this compound as you can see is called 2 methyl pentane and the question is what is the number of possible products formed as a result of monochlorination of this compound now there will be two answers one will be counting the number of possible products without considering the stereoisomers and the other will be a detailed one with also counting the stereoisomers or optical isomers now as you can see i have drawn this structure again five carbon state chain and methyl group on the second carbon atom so one of the products will be having chlorine on the first carbon definitely in place of hydrogen atom then having chlorine on the second carbon atom having chlorine on the third carbon atom and having chlorine on the fourth carbon atom and having chlorine on the fifth carbon atom now we can't put chlorine on this carbon atom because this position and this position are one and the same thing so the little answer is 5 without considering any stereoisomers now for stereoisomers we have to consider how many are the chiral carbons out here in the first product there is no chiral carbon atom in the second product the carbon which is marked with the star is a chiral carbon atom so it is going to occur in two forms dextrorotatory and levorotatory this one again chiral carbon atom dextrorotatory and levorotatory and this one again now this is very interesting the chlorine is attached to this carbon but this is not chiral now this carbon has become chiral because this is ch3 and this is ch2cl these two groups are different from each other already it is having one hydrogen atom and one n propyl group so again a case of dextrorotatory and levorotatory so three three more products are formed so the final answer becomes 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 so if we are asked to tell how many products are formed with considering stereoisomerism the answer is 8 and without stereoisomerism the answer is 5 definitely it is going to help you watch it again thank you